Hello everybody and welcome to another Theatrical Tuesday where again we've got two activities for you to play with and experiment this week. As always these activities work best with working with your entire family so brothers or sisters or any grown-ups at home are really going to make these games more enjoyable for you to play. The first one this week is a game called 10 Second Objects. You can play this as an entire family one person can be the judge or the person in charge and they're going to tell the rest of the family what they need to do. So it could be that a person is going to say you need to make the object of something like a car. And then as the entire family you will have 10 seconds to make a physical theatre showing of what you think that would look like. My example would be like this. If I've got 10 seconds to make a car, it could be that one person is going to be the lights here. One person is going to be another light there. Another person is then going to be driving the car there. It could be that you have someone as an engine. It could be that you have someone tucked up as a wheel. But whatever ways you think you can make that as a family would look really, really good. And the whole point of the game is you have 10 seconds to make it. And whatever you've made in those 10 seconds, you have to be frozen so the judge can look, observe, and see how well they think you've done. After you've played around, you can swap it with the next person being the judge, take it in turns, and enjoy that game to see what physical theatre objects you could make. My example that I've given you is a car. It could be anything. It could be that you are in the middle of a race. Is one person winning the race? Is one, per one person losing the race? You could have everyone in a musical band, some playing guitars, some playing drums, one person's a singer. Anything that you can think of in your imagination is entirely fine, entirely good, and I hope you have fun with that game to play. Your main activity for this week is a story circle uh, type adventure. Everyone in your family, I would like them to find one or two objects around the house. It could be a toy, it could be a book, it could be anything that they want. But they're going to find these objects and as a family you're going to put them together in a circle and whatever objects you found for this week you have to try to make a story just using those objects or props as inspiration so for example my two props for this week is i have binoculars there and i have an old style book now if i were to use these two objects to create uh, any story that i want to it could be that I've got binoculars, so I think my character could be an explorer. Perhaps they're on some sort of adventure. My old book is perhaps the treasure that they are looking for. Perhaps this book leads to a treasure map. Perhaps this book is a spell book. Who knows? But already I've got the basis for a story just using these two props. So I'm sure with you and your families, any toys or cuddly animals or anything that you've got around the house you could make a story out of really really well. Once you've got ideas for a story, once you've got those ideas and those props there for you, you could then do a whole variety of different things with it. If you're key stage one it could be that your grown-ups are going to lead lots of questions about what these props mean, what they could find with them and what sort of things they could lead to. If you're key stage two, perhaps you could then start making these stories into more complicated ideas. Perhaps you could go around the circle and everyone in the circle has to say a sentence that leads the story on. So one person says, once upon a time. The next person says, I found these binoculars. And the next person, and the next person, the next person. And then you build up a story a little bit more complicated with a few more details into it. Whatever your story is, have fun with it. Grown-ups, if you could leave questions. Key stage two, if you could leave questions to your grown-ups or any younger children that you have. Once you've got your story, pictures, posters, you could write down questions, diary entries from perhaps a character, or perhaps you could write even a short story about it, okay? Plenty of options for you. Lots of things to experiment. Those props could change every single day. So every day you have a new story to tell with new challenges or new variations of it. Have fun with it. Keep looking after yourselves and I'll see you next week.